Hi, my name is Shevin. I'm Agnes. And we're here on behalf of DanceHappens.com. And we are going to show you how to do correctly and properly the starter step and its functions. Some of the time you see people doing it and they don't keep the beat or they're going all over the place with their footwork. We're going to show you how to do it properly. Starter step basic position. Guys, we're going to have our hand right here on the lady's back, just on the shoulder. Ladies, you're going to have your hand either on top or in front of the shoulder, or on top or in front of the shoulder, so that way you're not behind and get all tangled up. Left hand, you're just going to drape it down low. Ladies are draping their hand right over the top. Very relaxed. Now you start off the starter step with two triples. So the first one's going to be triple step, and we're just going to take that slightly to the left. Guys, you're starting with your left foot. Ladies, with your right foot. One more time. Triple step. Now for the second one. Fellas, what you're going to be doing is bringing in your right foot and then angling your right side towards your partner. Triple step. That way you'll be able to open up and let the follower know which way she's going to go. Followers, we're going to do a nice anchor step or go into a third foot position starting with your left. So let's do the second part one more time. Ready? And triple step. Easy enough. Now we're going to break down the fellas footwork and the ladies footwork separately. All right, for our leaders, this is the breakdown for the footwork for the starter step. As you have your follower in front of you, you're going to bring your left foot slightly in as you start to triple, step to your left on the step, step, and then when you bring your right foot in, triple, then you're going to step your right foot towards your partner on the step, bringing yourself slightly back so that way your partner has a lane to walk down. Showing you at this angle now, we have triple step, triple step. This gives your partner a nice lane and opens you up for a left side pass. You can do it the other way so that way you open up for a right side pass or you can bring yourself by your partner, but those will all be explained later when we do variations. So you have one and two, three and four, opening up for the nice left side pass. Hi, I'm Agnes and I'm going to break down the footwork for the starter step for the ladies. So remember ladies, in the starter step we're in a close position and one arm's going to be on the guy's shoulder and one's going to be relaxed down by your side. Um, but right now, I mainly want you to focus on the feet and the leg work. We are going to do, there, it require, it's two triples, therefore it's four counts together for the whole starter step, yes? So our first triple, we're going to start with our right. Remember, ladies always start with your right, because we're always right. So when in doubt, remember, women are always right, we always start with our right leg. But enough on that subject. We're, again, so starting with a triple with your right, we're going to go trip pull step and then an anchor step so your last triple will always be an anchor where the stretch is going to be made and we're going to talk about that in our other video a little more so one more time it's going to be kind of slightly behind you very close to your other foot it's going to be together together to the side now bring your left foot back to a third foot position and anchor step and I'll show you the back side. So one more time, we're going to go together, together to this side, and then third foot position. Yes, our third foot position, in case you don't know what that is, is going to be our left leg, the instep of our left foot is going to come nice and close to the back heel of your right. So this would be your third foot position. One more time, we're going to go triple step and triple step. And that's your starter step. Hi, we're going to kind of talk about the functions of the starter step and if it isn't obvious enough, it is a starter step, therefore you're going to start the dance. So what you're going to do is after you politely ask the lady to dance. Would you like to dance? She's going to politely say yes. I'd love to. Because they're um, all very, very nice. We're going to connect. So the very first part of a starter step is to actually connect and kind of start the conversation as you would. And you're going to, you're going to Usually, sometimes, even before you start tripling, you're going to sway a little bit just to kind of get the idea of what kind of connection it's going to require, um, adjust to their height or weight or whatnot. So, fellas, make sure that when you're doing this, all you're going to be doing is trying to connect to your partner, get a feel for the song, the music. If you have something slow, you know, make sure that you're rocking nice and slow, you're getting a groove going, and this allows you to figure out what your partner is capable of before you even start the dance. Starter step can also be used to merge um, other variations and other patterns together. Um, we can show you that later on, but it also sets the direction for the follower because you can turn it. So we all know in our starter step that we're going to start tripling to our right or left, 
and then we're going to anchor. Now, we all know that when the guy opens up his body, that means he's opening up his way and the slot for the follower. So now I know where I'm going to go because he can also rotate the starter step. And now my slot is going to go the other way. So those are just some of the functions to think about about the starter step. Hi, this is Shevin. And I'm Agnes. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to check us out on DanceHappens.com.